Hello and welcome. This tutorial will cover image acquisition within MBTech Merlick using the Image Source Manager, for short ISM. We will show you how to configure image sources independently from your MB apps by using the ISM. This enables the reuse of image source configurations for other MB apps. For example, if you want to use a camera device with the same camera configuration in multiple MB apps, you only need to adjust the configuration once. You can also use one in the same MV app with different image source configurations without adjusting the MV app itself. It is also possible to connect to the image source manager on a remote system and configure the camera devices remotely. This tutorial will showcase the workflow of how to configure image sources via the graphical user interface of the image source manager, covering the following steps. Opening the Image Source Manager Adding configurations and image sources Configuring image sources Using the image sources in MB apps Switching between image source configurations without adjusting the MB app itself For this tutorial, we prepared an MB app. In this application, we classify hand gestures from 0 to 5 using the Deep Learning Paste Classify Image tool. As you can see, the MV app is successfully classifying the hand gestures. Currently, our tool flow includes an acquire image from file tool that acquires images from an image directory. Let us configure our image sources using the Image Source Manager. The Image Source Manager can be found in the Merlick Runtime Environment Setup, for short Merlick RT Setup, under the Image Sources tab. The Merlick RT setup is a standalone application that provides a graphical user interface not only for the configuration of image sources for the image source manager, but also for the configuration of various components for the process integration. You can start the Merlick RT setup from the Merlick Creator, from the Windows Start menu, or from the command line. For more information, take a look at our documentation. One way to configure the image sources from within the Merlick Creator is to go to Image Source Configuration and click Edit. Let us now add configurations in image sources. Right now, there is no configuration available. To add a new one, click New Configuration. We name this configuration Offline Images and click Create Configuration. Here we can see an overview of our created configuration, the name, the status, the configuration type. In this case, a shared configuration, which means the configuration can be used in any MB app. And we can set whether the configuration should be loaded as the RTE startup configuration whenever the Merlick RTE is started. Now we need to add an image source. The image source we want to add is an image directory. We name our image source hands. The name of our image sources is important because it is the interface between our image source configuration and MB apps. We define the path to our image directory and create the image source. Before you can start a live image or take a snapshot, you have to activate your configuration. For image directories, no parameters are available. For our live image acquisition, let us add a new configuration. We name our second configuration Live Images and click Create Configuration. Then we add an image source. This time our image source is a camera. When naming our image source, it is important that the name is identical to the name of the image source inside the configuration Offline Images. So we name it Hands. Select your desired camera from all available cameras here and click Create Image Source. In the Info section, we can see the names of our image source and camera the used acquisition interface, and the status. The status tells us whether the image source is connected or not. Merlick offers hardware independence by supporting image acquisition interfaces of the latest industry standards GIGI Vision, Gen I Cam Gen TL, and USB 3 Vision. We activate our configuration and start a live image acquisition. With the live image running, we can configure our camera. 
For the configuration of our camera, we can either use the Easy Params tab or the All Parameters tab. For simple image acquisition setups, like in this tutorial, we recommend the Easy Params tab. Here, you can adapt exposure time, gain, and basic trigger parameters. Since our image is very dark, we increase the exposure time. Let us use the zoom feature to focus our camera. Since we want to simulate the change from offline to online images within an MV app by changing the image source configuration in the next step, we reactivate our image source configuration, offline images. This concludes the setup of our image source configurations, and we can switch to the Merlet Creator. We now want to use our created image sources in our MV app. To now use our image source configurations inside our MV app, we delete the Acquire Image from File tool from the tool flow and replace it with an Image Source tool. Hands is already selected as Image Source Name. Please note, when running the MV app, the Image Source tool acquires an image from each image source in the active configuration. Therefore, make sure that your image source configuration contains only the required image sources to avoid slowing down your MV app unnecessarily. When we switch to the Classify Image tool, we can see the MV app working as intended. Now we want to switch the image source configuration without adapting our MV app. Let us go back to the Merlic RT setup and change our active configuration from offline images to live images. When we switch back to the Merlic Creator and the Classify Image tool, we see that the MV app now acquires its images through our camera. This concludes this video. You should now be able to use the Image Source Manager to configure and manage your image sources and use them inside your Merlic Vision applications. Thank you for watching.